All right, so this is Larry's Sherman S. And we haven't really gotten to play with a lot of Sherman S's down here in Southern California because uh, not so many people have them. So this one is still on the original firmware, which means no high speed mode. So Don is stopping by my office to borrow my Android phone to change that. So I went on to the little GitHub repository for the Leaper Kim software. So I'm gonna click on that button. I installed it, it's an APK and it installs. You just have to put your phone into developer mode. Seems to connect nicely. Lights work, horn works. Reset meter. No, we don't have to do that. Okay, so we're going to hit this button and update the firmware. So it says current angle 67. That's cool. It even shows you that it's happy. So let's check upgrade. But yeah, some wheels you have to lay on their side, some on their kickstand. So please tilt the unicycle forward and backwards to between 40 and 90 degrees. Do they actually mean for me to do that now? I don't know. Uh, well, now I tilted it forward and it won't tilt back. So how do you do the the lift switch? Does this have a lift switch or do I have to turn it off and start oh over gosh, again? I don't know. But look, now he's unhappy. You know, it's I his get that. Angle zero. <laughs> I, I think what they were saying is I was already okay. So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna do this again. This time, just hitting update now. Let's see if it'll reconnect. I don't know if it will. It looks like it reconnected. So now we're gonna hit firmware update. He's so happy. it's happy again. I'm gonna hit update now, upgrade now. So if you read all that stuff, it says, this is a unit made in China to kill Americans, <laughs> which is kind of strange for them to say, but I'm assuming they're joking. Look how pretty Larry's wheel is. I don't know why I'm whispering. Seems like it's super quiet in here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Larry seems to have his wheels usually prettier than they are when you first pull them out of the box. No Oops. con. It says no con right now. Well, it's not going to balance is all that means. Okay. So we're up to 92, 95, 96%. Restarting. I'm assuming they mean restarting the wheel. And now it might do a count up on this screen or it might just be done. Upgrade successful is what it said on here. And then it went away really quick so you couldn't oh. film it. So now I'm gonna hit check upgrade again just for fun. And it pops up nothing on the screen. So cool. I'm guessing we're done. So I'm gonna back out of here. I'm gonna hit unit switch because Larry likes miles per hour. Was there a save button or is it just done? I guess it's just, just done. done. Okay, so disconnect device. I could have hit device info and checked the firmware version when it says it's successful. I believe it. So now we get to see Don go a little Sherman nuts. Zoom, zoom. This now we should enable the zoom, zoom mode, but we have, we have to find the zoom, zoom mode in yes. the Oh yeah, display. it's still part of the video. I got it, I got it, okay. So now we're balancing. Looking we're going zoom, to zoom. hit uh, this and hold it down. Okay, so that's the first setting. So your medium mode, pedal, pe angle, oh, that was advance. That thingy he said. Isn't that just tilt? Yeah, tilt angle. He has a tilt angle. Okay. On it. That's fine. Tilt back 173 miles an hour. That's I that. still you probably won't hit that. OS alarm, same thing. Brightness, yeah. level, sleep mode, miles that's per hour. Good. It's like transport mode. So this is where you adjust the voltage. So when you're fully charged, you make sure it actually says L node. Yeah, I don't remember what that was. L node, okay. There, high speed. High speed. And uh, toggle on and off. Yes, on. On. Is there anything else in here that we're gonna wanna see? Uh, nope. Let's see if there's a- We just went back to the beginning. angle. There wasn't, we just went through. So okay. we could also try to go in for the eight second uh, hold down. Volt 
37. All these weird things. Oh wow, you're you're really up there in the voltage. Okay. I don't amp draw. But yeah, I don't know if there is a uh, a lean angle, but just don't hit any berms at high speed. I saw those videos where people were like just taking turns and just their wheels were shutting off. <laughs> I did that on my Master Pro. Oh yeah, I remember. But that was an actual berm. No. Oh, I did it in the parking lot here on the Master oh. Pro. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a you ready? Now we're in miles per hour. 70 miles an hour. It's like my master. Let's get a full charge on this thing and see what it does. That'll be more fun. Oh my gosh, so loud. It's a good beeper. So that beeper, I cannot hear it at speed at all with my full face helmet and my music. Every once in a while I can hear it. Beep, 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 beep. Sounds like SOS. Um, uh, I don't remember if I told you this. Uh, I was talking about it in my video um, earlier that last night his top speed at free spin was 56 miles an hour, 56 something. Yeah. This morning on uh, my pre-ride test. Oh, is that what it was? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh sorry. And that is 67. Okay. I didn't know he was that low. Oh, okay. There, Roger has <laughs> solved the mystery. So it's at like half battery now, so we're going to charge it all the way up, and I bet it's going to go, uh, I don't know, closer to 75. 75? To okay. So right Please now me. it's 70. So, so far, Don showed That's up great. here smiling on a Sherman S. <laughs> I fell in love with the Sherman S on the ride. Look at the baby. And these are the gold blots that Good. Ash was talking about. He said to adjust it, like he said that they go all the way up at the start and you gotta like push them down to the... Um... Can I say what the gold blots are? <laughs> okay. Yes. So those <laughs> things are the crown of the actual spring that is inside of that cylinder. So as you turn those, you compress the spring. Mm. So that's directly related to how heavy you are the heavier you are, the more you want to compress that spring. Okay. At a certain point, you can't compress it anymore. That's when you go up to the next step in suspension stiffness or weight, what they call it. So okay. um, I recommend almost everybody buy the heavier one, um, unless you're like less than 120 pounds. Um, and I guess now there's even a third, even heavier mode, which would be good for somebody like Ash. So. And then he wouldn't have to... I think he'd still have to tighten it all the way down. Oh, okay. Just like my big old jacket is extra, 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 yeah. extra large. Hmm. I don't think that they make one that would work for Ash. Hmm. They run out of room for the X's. Do you wanna um? Do you wanna change the suspension settings? I don't like the way it's set now. It's bouncy, right? It's I don't know. It's not as cush as as other ones are, and it wasn't absorbing a lot of the small stuff. It absorbed the big stuff pretty right. well. Well, we can adjust it. All no right, problem. so we'll do that too. So we'll ad adjust the suspension a little bit. We'll get a little bit of charge. He now is in high-speed zoom zoom mode. So we'll check that on the ride back and we'll see how he does. Thank you, Larry, for the wheel. He's so much happier here going zoom zoom. And thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Later.